Check it out. This is my clean sound through my Fender Deluxe Reverb. Not a hint of breakup. I've got all the knobs at noon. This is the revolution. All right, let's uh, turn the level up a little bit. All right, let's go through the gain range and see what it's got. That sounds pretty good, but the magic for this pedal happens with the contour control, which really changes the mid focus. So I'll show you what that does. Heaps of gain, this thing, I tell you. All right, let's uh, let's have a look at the tone control. Yeah, that really does help to bring out the pick attack, I think. That's really good rhythm distortion. Uh, a lot of uh, distortion pedals can get a bit fluffy the more gain you put into them, but that sounds really crisp. We get all the lows, we get the highs, it sounds fantastic. Now, this toggle switch in the middle, what that's gonna do is add a bit more low mids uh, and probably a little bit more compression and saturation. Now, low mids on a rhythm tone is gonna make it really muddy, but that's not what I reckon it's for. So I don't reckon it works really well for a rhythm tone. I think that's going to help with your higher notes. When, you, when you're playing solos and you're playing those higher notes, uh, they can become a bit thin. But by adding a bit more low mids, uh, a little bit more compression, you'll get more sustain. And I think it'll help to fill it out a bit as well. So I think that will work better for a solo tone. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, that's that sounds really good. Not a lot of distortion pedals can cover rhythm tones and lead tones, I think, as well as this does. This is brilliant. The Past Effects Revolution Distortion Pedal uh, is the second pedal in their new line called the Spectrum Collection and is based on the old Buffalo FX Evolution Distortion, uh, which you can't get anymore, which is basically a four gain stage overdrive slash distortion. Now, I wasn't doing much overdriving with this thing. Um, I was pretty much entranced by how much <laughs> distortion it had on tap. The contour control was a real winner for me because it really helped with tone shaping. You could get anything from sort of really thick um, rhythm distortions through to lead distortion sounds uh, as well from the same pedal. And um, I found though with both the contour and tone controls that I had to have them probably both passed halfway to get the sorts of sounds that I was after through my rig, uh, but they worked very effectively and they definitely made a difference. I had a lot of fun playing this pedal, uh, and I love it when a pedal says this on the back. I'm not sure if you can see that. It says prototype, so it doesn't even have a serial number. I froth over things like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, these will be available soon if they're not already, and um, I highly recommend it. Typically speaking, I don't really use high gain uh, distortion pedals because if I want high gain distortion, I go for the Mesa behind me there. Uh, but there are some exceptions. I absolutely love the Friedman BEOD, and I put the uh, Revolution Distortion up in the same category. It's very flexible, it's got a ton of gain, and it sounds great. So if you want to find anything out about this pedal that uh, I haven't covered, check out the Past Effects website, which I've put a link in the description below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Remember, you can join the Middle Age Gear Junkie Facebook page by clicking the link in the description. And other than that, my name is Jason, and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later.